Mass readings for Sunday, September 15, 2024. 24th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Lectionary, 131. First reading, Isaiah 50, verses 5 to 9a. The Lord God hath opened my ear, and I do not resist, I have not gone back. I have given my body to the strikers, and my cheeks to them that plucked them. I have not turned away my face from them that rebuked me and spit upon me. The Lord God is my helper, therefore am I not confounded, therefore have I set my face as a most hard rock, and I know that I shall not be confounded. He is near that justifieth me, who will contend with me. Let us stand together, who is my adversary. Let him come near to me. Behold the Lord God is my helper. Who is he that shall condemn me? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Response I will walk before the Lord, in the land of the living. I have loved, because the Lord will hear the voice of my prayer. Because he hath inclined his ear unto me, and in my days I will call upon him. Response I will walk before the Lord in the land of the living. The sorrows of death have encompassed me, and the perils of hell have found me. I met with trouble and sorrow. And I called upon the name of the Lord. O Lord, deliver my soul. Response, I will walk before the Lord, in the land of the living. The Lord is merciful and just, and our God sheweth mercy. The Lord is the keeper of little ones, I was little and he delivered me. Response, I will walk before the Lord, in the land of the living. For he hath delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from falling. I will please the Lord in the land of the living. Response, I will walk before the Lord, in the land of the living. Second reading, James 2 verses 14 to 18. What shall it profit, my brethren, if a man say he hath faith, but hath not works? Shall faith be able to save him? And if a brother or sister be naked, and want daily food? And one of you say to them, Go in peace, be ye warmed and filled, yet give them not those things that are necessary for the body, what shall it profit? So faith also, if it have not works, is dead in itself. But some man will say, Thou hast faith, and I have works, shew me thy faith without works, and I will shew thee, by works, my faith. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. May I never boast except in the cross of our Lord through which the world has been crucified to me and I to the world. Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel, Mark 8, verses 27 to 35. And Jesus went out, and his disciples, into the towns of Caesarea Philippi. And in the way, he asked his disciples, saying to them, Whom do men say that I am? Who answered him, saying, John the Baptist, but some Elias, and others as one of the prophets? Then he saith to them, But whom do you say that I am? Peter answering said to him, Thou art the Christ. And he strictly charged them that they should not tell any man of him. And he began to teach them, that the Son of Man must suffer many things, and be rejected by the ancients and by the high priests and the scribes, and be killed, and after three days rise again. And he spoke the word openly. And Peter taking him, began to rebuke him. Who turning about and seeing his disciples, threatened Peter, saying, Go behind me, Satan, because thou savorest not the things that are of God, but that are of men. And calling the multitude together with his disciples, he said to them, if any man will follow me, let him deny himself, and take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever will save his life, shall lose it, 
and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, shall save it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ.